Hey guys, Sarah here, and we are at my very messy mock station with a very wet and muddy puppy. This is Roxy Girl. Roxy and I just got back from a walk, but what I wanted to do was share with you my brand new mock that I made for my custom Lego City for the convention next weekend. I'm super excited and I'm pumped about the theme of this mock. Um, I just had so, so much fun building it that I wanted to share it with you right away. It's a theme that means a lot to me and I can't wait to uh, dig in and show you some of the fun details. So stick around, make sure to like and subscribe if you love mocks and city building and all that kind of cool stuff with Lego because we do a ton of that here. And uh, <laughs> so yes, yeah, so let's get into it. Are you ready to show them the mock, the mock mock? Okay, so before we go any further, um, for those of you who saw yesterday's video on my Lego store, Lego brand store mock for my Lego city, uh, little Bins and Bricks, my kiddo, uh, gave a special little challenge in there and to whoever left a timestamp with the challenge was gonna get a shout out in the next video. Well, of course he's not here, he's on a sleepover. So uh, I went through and I wrote down everyone's name, so we're gonna do a really quick shout out before we get into this really cool mock. So I'm gonna do a shout out to uh, some of our really favorite um, viewers, members, um, subscribers, and then some new ones too. So we've got Simon Moss, we've got Elkie, Ben Meisner, Michael Notenius, My Bricks and Meat, Fantastic City, go look up My Bricks and Meat, Alana Smith, Tilly, Oldendorf, The Random Kid, Josh Monster 79, Captain Zan, who has a new YouTube channel too, and Kiani Vlogs. So thank you guys for helping out my kiddo with that fun little challenge. And I'm guaranteeing that you are gonna see more of him in videos because he loves to find a way to uh, add a little something to the video. And he is super excited about YouTube. So let's get into the mock now. All right, my friends. So I thought it would be a lot of fun to um, do a video at the messy, messy mock station where all the magic happens happens and today I want to show you my mini aquarium scuba diving shop and a uh, tiny apartment so we are going to go layer by layer and there are fun details inside this is probably one of the most detailed interiors that I've done in a mock and I think that it is uh, just swimmingly fun no pun intended well maybe just 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 a little So here is the roof layer, and of course it is extremely modular, comes off nice and easily. Uh, and then we have this uh, stingray, manta ray, I'm not sure which one you'd wanna classify it as, on the uh, using just some snot bricks, and then I covered up the remaining ones with some translucent blue tiles and studs, and then used a few more of the translucent bricks just to give it a 
a brighter uh, watery theme to the top. And then of course we added this little bit of a shipwreck here, which is kind of fun. And uh, I added, I actually added the dog's bed to the top from the Modern City set, uh, just as a, a, a lookout. So I thought uh, shipwreck, scuba diving, um, you know, kind of makes just for a nice fit to the theme there. And then as you can see, it's just very simple going around the outside, nothing complicated, but very sturdy. Uh, we've just uh, put some plates together at the bottom to make the size of the, um, the floor. And that is it for the roof. And I, I really like it. It's very simple, but looks bright and colorful and fun. And that's exactly what I was going for, was a bit of fun. Okay, we are down to the next layer or the, the I guess it would be the third floor. And this is the scuba divers little apartment area. You can see they found that their treasure. We've got some of those gold mini figures, some red jewels and a sword. And actually you'll notice that these are pieces from inside that modern city set. I grabbed both beds. We actually had, this is two sets worth here actually. There's still quite a few pieces, but it took two sets to um, make as much of this modular as you see. Um, so that is a good indication that uh, building smaller buildings does take less bricks. And that's why I enjoy it because I feel like I can get more accomplished, but I definitely, definitely love just the look of the wood on the walls and the treasure chest. And then I made a little, I don't know if you call it a rug area or not, but it's just a cute little pattern there to put the uh, treasure chest in. And they don't have much else in there. They, they spend most of their time in the water or down in a dive shop or out back grilling. So uh, this is their little apartment level. And I gave them a little light around the sides, but they, they might have a building up against that side. So I didn't put too much in, but they have two nice windows here that open up front. And again, there's our Morse code. And then I have these lovely little lights here that will shine down onto the uh, the scuba shop and the sidewalk. And I used a few masonry bricks in there because I love those so much. Just a few accents, they really go a long way. And so this is the scuba divers little apartment. All right, down to my favorite part, which of course is the actual aquarium portion. And this just, again, evolved over over time, over tinkering with it. Uh, it, it was actually just a one day project, but at the same time, uh, you know, I just, just kind of saw those pieces and ran with it. And sometimes all you need is sort of a, a seed piece, if you will, to kind of dictate the way the mock is going to go and all of these blue panels just came in so handy uh, you'll see i put a shark inside there's a crab a little bit of coral seaweed um and just a few little things i actually gave the shark an ocean picture on the wall <laughs> something for uh him to enjoy i guess and uh yeah i just thought putting a shark in an aquarium uh, it would just be a very fun little uh, colorful addition to the mock and it makes a nice uh, floor. It's a very simple floor to make. I actually used uh, some of the plates from the Tiki Surf Bar that I did not need after building the alt build of the Surfer Beach House. So I thought that was a nice way to reuse those pieces and create some the look of some water movement in there with the um, with the modified bows and the cheese wedges and things like that. So that is the aquarium level. And I think it is uh, just my favorite, absolutely my favorite part. I would absolutely love to build a giant aquarium, uh, but I really had to just scrounge for these pieces. So definitely uh, to make a 32 by 32 aquarium, it would, it would take some part ordering, but I'm glad I was able to make this little one uh, so quickly and it's so colorful. So the last layer is actually the dive shop itself. So this layer is um, sort of the dive uh, equipment shop, I guess you would call it, where you might go to purchase uh, your air tanks, your uh, life vests, your motorized, air tanks, your extra air tanks, your scuba helmets, maybe your scuba um, flashlights, more fins, a map, maybe a very uh, special helmet over there in the corner. 
And then I think up front, we actually have a scuba suit. Let's see if we can see through the window there. You can see there is a scuba suit. Um, so yeah, actually I have a space open for something right there. I was going to clip something in that I don't know yet. So we're gonna, we're gonna find something fun to clip in there. If you have an idea of what I should clip in there, feel free to leave a comment below. And uh, if you guys have a good idea and I actually have the piece for it, I might just clip it in there. Uh, so that's, that's basically the inside of the scuba shop. Again, I tried to keep it light and bright and use some of the parts and pieces from the ocean exploration set. So I absolutely uh, love this little modular and this whole um, base plate is going to evolve here over the course of the next few days as we get ready for our uh, competition or com not competition, a convention, our Lego convention, which is Brickfest Live in Marlboro, Mass. And hopefully I think I'll be working on a donut shop next. So stay tuned for a donut shop. And until then, uh, happy building, stay safe, enjoy your Lego, try making a mock or two, and let me know your thoughts. So I love your comments, keep them coming. Uh, when Little Bins and Bricks is back from his uh, adventures on the weekend, I'll have to have him add a new challenge. And there it is. We're putting back together the dive shop aquarium apartment. Start to finish. It's a fantastic little building. I did not spend hours and hours and hours and hours and days and days and days upon it. I made quick decisions. I had a lot of fun and I'm super pleased. We'll see you in the next video.